All right, so remember this channel, the Mr. Beast Reacts channel, this one right here? I know some people got it, at least considering how many views some of these videos were pulling. Like 46 mil, 74 mil, 71 mil. That's insane for one of his many second channels. It hasn't been active in a really long time. The last video was posted on April 25th, 2023. But what if I told you back in 2017, the channel name was Mr. Beast CSGO? You know, applying that he was attempting to be a Counter-Strike YouTuber. Yeah, I know, right? Jimmy playing a first-person shooter game seems kind of weird. Believe it or not, though, if you go to the Internet Archive site and put in the channel link with the channel ID, not the current link you just copy from your browser, there are 2,393 captures of what it looked like all the way back from August 31st of 2016 to just a couple of days ago. Unfortunately, it's not saves of what everything looked like, like every day or something. I don't really know how the site decides to save a capture of a web page or whatnot, but specifically in 2017, there were four saved from this channel. And going to the first one on March 2nd, even though the channel is only called Mr. Beast at the time, his second most recent video posted was titled Insane CSGO Gambling Luck with the words doubled money and asterisks. It got a solid 12,000 views, but compared to some of the other content that he was posting, which seemed to be a lot of PewDiePie tuber simulator, that was nothing. Like his third most recent video, the most recent simulator one at the time, got 64,000 views. And the one before that got 126k, like damn. If I back out of this one though and move on to the next snapshot, which jumps to August 26th, that's when we see the channel name switch to Mr. B CSGO, as well as a new Gamba video. Actually, his first video posted on here in six months, titled Going From $500 to 10 Knives, and then CSGO Gambling. It was only one day old at the time, pulling 3,383 views, with the other one pulling about 24k after those six months. But if I wanted to go and watch either one of these now, taking the literal link of the video from the Wayback site, both have been completely removed from YouTube. Clearly, Jimmy doesn't want people watching and knowing about these anymore, and there probably is even even more of them. I just can't see them though because the video tab snapshots are not the same time, they're even older for some reason. But if we go to the last and final 2017 snapshot from September 10th, uh yeah, nothing loads. It's like the save just miraculously got deleted or corrupted or something. Strange coincidence, right? Anyways, safe to say Mr. Beast likes CSGO skins and gambling, but there's even more that confirms all of this was real. Before I get into everything else I want to share, I gotta pay for food and rent, so let me give a shout out to an awesome partner that's not a Gamba site, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is hands down one of the best bot trading sites you can use with Counter-Strike skins. Say you want to upgrade some of your current skins to get something better, this would be the perfect site to do that with. You can also straight up buy skins too, and with their 35% deposit bonus plus my code, it gives anyone quite a nice balance to work with. There's even free giveaways you can enter and rewards for completing simple tasks on the site. Get started with a free $5 using my link in the description below. I know, sorry, those get annoying, but getting back into it, flashing back to March 9th of 2023, Jesus, another pretty popular Counter-Strike YouTube posted this video about Mr. Beast, sharing this story in a lot more detail. I highly recommend watching it too. But one of the things he highlighted was how this YouTuber, The Red Spy, posted a video back on November 11th, 2016 of him playing CSGO with Mr. Beast. Like it was actually him, not some impersonator or kid with a voice changer or something. I just heard auto shut down through my headset. What does that mean? Auto shut down on your YouTube channel, Jimmy. He talks about it and why it's important to this story, though, because it reveals the old Steam account he used to play on. And we can use this to find it today. Like, I'll link it in the description, because why not, if you guys want to see it. But take a look at his past names. Four of the past 12 have CSGO Big in them, while another one says, I am addicted to gambling. And what is CSGO Big, you might ask? If it's not obvious already, it's an older CSGO Gamba site. And even today, unless these numbers are botted, there are still a lot of people playing on here. But seeing all this, it seems to be the main site he was sponsored by. Yep, Mr. Beast was selling out to Gamba sites for that bag back in the day. What's even crazier to me though is he has YouTubers like Juicy and others on his friends list. And Juicy even confirmed that he gambled with Mr. Beast in the past in a comment on Jesus' video, saying, I met Jimmy through McSkillet and we played a lot of Fortnite slash golf with friends. I have a vivid memory of him gambling a lot more money than me while saying mama didn't raise no pussy, insisting he won't cash out on Crash. And that just leaves me wondering now why doesn't Mr. Beast want anyone seeing this stuff anymore? I know y'all will draw your own conclusions on what you think and everything, but personally, it kinda makes sense to me. I don't accept third-party Gamba sponsors for a lot of reasons. One of them being the hate that can come from the Counter-Strike community of whether the sites are fair and whatnot and people's ethics. I don't know, the drama can be pretty crazy. He very well could be trying to stay away from those people or avoid just getting into the drama in general of like people who don't like gambling in general, but it could also be in relation to a lot of what's happening currently for Jimmy right now. 
now, as it feels like every day someone else is coming out about how something was faked or something was rigged. He may be trying to remove this as well because he doesn't want more people knowing he was advertising gambling to kids, but whether that's all true or not, clearly someone's trying to hide something here, or clearly he's trying to hide something here. But imagine Jimmy came back to Counter-Strike now. Maybe his voice and influence could get Valve off their asses when it comes to adding content or just straight up adding everything still missing from CSGO. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up this video. Again, shout out to Jesus for originally highlighting a lot of this info when it first surfaced. I don't want to make it seem like I'm just copying stuff, but with content being slow, I wanted to try something like this. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you did like it, of course, drop a like and subscribe if you're not already. And now whatever video is showing on your screen, the YouTube algorithm thinks you might like. So do me a favor and go check it out.